what's going on guys it's risky here welcome to a quick guide on spec mapping for iRacing here in photoshop now this is something that confuses a lot of people that try to make their own paints you know it's pretty easy to create an initial design here in photoshop but actually spec mapping is where things tend to get a little more confusing and you start to mess up your paint and you're like oh man i just did all that work and now i got all these weird looking colors on my car what the heck do i do well i'm going to show you here on how to avoid all that i'm no pro at making designs or anything but i have a pretty good idea on how to do it now and i think i've made some pretty cool designs uh, over the past few months here as i've slowly learned and gotten better if you want to check out my trading paints or any run any of my paints my trading paints link will be in the description all right like i said i'm going to assume you already know how to design a paint but you just don't know how to spec map I got my sponsors and my design itself actually grouped up into two different groups. Got my sponsors here, and then I actually have my initial wrap design. What you wanna do in your spec map folder, which is right up here, you don't have to open it, is you wanna hit a new layer like that, and you wanna name it design, and then you wanna name, you wanna do the same thing for sponsors. I have mine grouped up here. It's just to color code everything how you have it here. So you just create a new layer. Now that you have a design layer here, you're gonna grow down into your design. You're gonna hold Control and Shift, and you're gonna click on each piece that you have of your actual base design. Now that you have that selected, you go here back to your design. Make sure, make sure it's selected and highlighted right there. Grab a paint bucket, set the color to black, and paint it black. You can see down here, Everything's black. That's perfectly normal. What you're going to do then is create a copy by hitting Control J. Drag that down. You can see I've already done so. But you want to drag one of these down into the green channel. And then you want to do it again. And then drag that down into the blue channel. You can see I have a Sponsors and Design tab in each one of these. Um, I, I guess you would call it a channel, a group, right? For the spec map. And... How do we get a texture? How do we get matte? How do we get metallic? How do we get glossy? How do we get all these textures that people are putting on their car? Well, I'm gonna show you a very, very easy trick and a nice little website that I found. It's called Gabir Motors, Ga Gabber, I don't know how to say it, but this will be in the description. It's a very useful tool on uh, finding like what textures to put on your car, what'll look good, and how to fine tune it. You can grab this right here and see exactly what things and what little tweaks will do friends so say we want this paint scheme to look uh satin right which is what i actually have it set to right now in here in the in the this this one's already been spec mapped uh this is what it's set to right it's set to a satin and you can see we got you want to look at this as red green blue and you want to look at this the same way this top number is your red this is your green and this is your blue. So you can see for a satin, we want zero, 20, zero. What does that mean? Let's go to our Photoshop and let's go to our design. Let's double click on this. Go to our color overlay, change the color, select the B. I think by default it'll be selected to the H. Make sure the B is selected. You will have a full spectrum of white to black here. Zero, you want, look at this number zero to 100 so what does that mean for satin our red needs to be zero okay so that means we're going to set this all the way down to zero good move down to our second design copy in the green channel well red green blue well our green needs to be 20 okay let's go down go back to our color overlay and make sure we're on the blue. It should be by default, honestly, if you're on Photoshop. And then let's make sure it's set to 20. Or excuse me. I'm dumb. 20, right there. And what are we going to do for the bottom one? Zero again. Okay. Go back down. Turn our design layer on. Go here. Back to color overlay. Watch this number that's lined up with the B. Make that a zero. Everything will be zero. And there we go. We'll have a satin. Uh, if you want to do the same thing, I, I, I usually do the same thing for my sponsors. So we'll do the same thing again here. Uh, I'll just do it for the video really quick. Zero 
20. You, you can kind of see this number is a little different. I don't really know how much it affects it, but just pay attention to this number, honestly. And then zero again, and that's for satin. Every combination, if we go to matte here, if we wanted it to be matte, we would just have to up the green layer, the green channel up to 50, and then our paint would look matte instead of satin. You see how that works? Hopefully that's not too confusing. So now we got all this weird looking stuff. You're like, what the heck's going on with my paint? And you want to actually apply it. You got to go to save as, go to where you actually have your paint saved, and you'll probably only see your original Targa. You're going to have to create one that looks like this. So you'd probably just click on this. And what I do usually is just add spec underscore right in the middle. We can just overwrite this one. You know, I won't save it because it, I literally already have it saved. This is what a satin looks like. Now our paint is satin. That is how you spec map. And like I said, if you want to make it matte, you would just have to increase the value of your green. You know, just match up the values of whatever this tells you in your Photoshop here in the, in the color overlay. It's really not that hard. Once you do it a couple times, the only basically basically what I did to learn is I went on like the late model stock, something with a super, super simple overlay to build off of. And I just put like a little stripe down the middle of the car. And uh, I kind of had the base layer and then I had the stripe and I made the base layer black, which is the whole car. And then I made the stripe a little bit shinier. And I kind of just played around with it and, and just seen what did what for a little bit. And then I went and made a big scheme like this, you know, like a, a fancier one, I guess if you want to call it. So yeah, there's spec mapping. Not that hard to do. Really simple. If you want to know how to do chrome numbers and stuff like that, you really are doing the exact same thing. But I'm probably going to make a whole another video for that just because it's something a little bit different uh, when it comes to the spec, the custom number kind of thing. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If there's any questions or comments about this, leave them in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.